My name is Sergey Kuznetsov. I'm a partner in uh, Speech Shop in Kuznetsov and uh, for several days I'm new chief architect uh, in Moscow. And uh, we're together with my partner Sergey Kuznetsov, uh, Sergey Choban, uh, designed this uh, exhibition and we're curators of this exhibition. And uh, uh, I can uh, maybe explain something. Uh, some sense of uh, our ideas of uh, this exhibition of this Russian pavilion dedicated to I city Skolkova. The uh, main idea was to uh, translate uh, our uh, ideas, our content of architectural projects in a uh, digital uh, format because now, uh, as a motto of Biennale Common Ground. Uh, we try to find some common ground of uh, understandability of architecture and scientific together uh, through the connection to the internet, to the global networks, and uh, this is absolutely accessible for everybody in global meaning. And because of it, we try to create this uh, space uh, with QR codes and uh, charges QR codes with the information dedicated to uh, different things uh, connected with Skolkova the history of Skolkova, the projects uh, which comprise in Skolkova and uh, this about some personality connected with Skolkova uh, from government, from architects, from uh, management of Skolkova and all of this charge, uh, was charged in this QR course and uh, everybody can come in and take this uh, table, digital table and uh, scan this QR codes and read this information Every time it's different formation and different spaces, the three spaces of this pavilion. And a very important possibility of our exposition is um, uh, we can recharge this uh, content for QR code and uh, during the development of Skolkova ICT, we can, during exposition on even further, we can recharge the information, recharge the content and uh, see there every time something new. If we want, we can save previous information, we can save new information and this is absolutely infinite uh, space for trying every time something new. I think it's uh, very interesting and I hope uh, the people who will come in will enjoy it and it's like a play with, uh, like a gameplay with, with electronic arts. The idea of a uh, scientific city uh, of, for multi-purposes uh, in terms of uh, different kinds of sci uh, science, uh, scientific uh, things um, like um, space uh, researches, medical researches, bio researches, chemical researches and uh, uh, the idea uh, of Skolkova, it's a big difference between uh, Skolkova and uh, former Russian scientific cities, it's uh, very uh, big level of opening to the world, to the uh, new brains, to the new ideas, uh, because uh, uh, Skolkova tried to involve uh, scientists from all over the world, from all over the globe, uh, from different countries, best science from Russia, best Russian science from abroad, best uh, international science, and uh, this is uh, very important for Russia now, because Russia tried to develop a new uh, civil technologies, because, you know, in Russia, uh, from former times, from Soviet Union times, uh, it was absolutely, I, mean, uh, I would say, weapon purposes, uh, some purposes connected with Cold War, uh, military purposes, and even if, uh, it, in terms of space, for example, but mostly, of course, uh, some purposes connected with military things, uh, more or less. And uh, it was absolutely a gated towns, uh, gated from other world, gated from other country, and even people who was uh, working in these uh, towns, they wasn't able to go abroad and see the world because they was a, like a, were like a slaves in these uh, cages. And uh, Skolkova, and this absolutely in other way uh, developing uh, because it's absolutely open. It's uh, very attractive for everybody, for everybody who interested in uh, development of scientific, of new ideas, new technologies, and uh, they can come in and start it 
uh, the education in Skolkovo University and uh, after this they can develop their own business in Skolkovo as a startup and after this they can go away from Skolkovo and uh, develop their business uh, just a, like a usual business. And my partner Sergei explained already about the level here upstairs where, uh, where we are staying and I would like to explain about downstairs level because uh, this very creative town, Skolkov is new common ground, we uh, create together with a lot of foreign very famous architects, uh, couldn't be possible uh, without of history of scientific towns, uh, so-called Naukograds, as a scientist uh, who worked there in the Soviet time. And uh, Soviet Union has very deep history of uh, scientific towns, there are a lot of them, uh, tens and tens of all country. And the exhibition downstairs in the uh, base floor uh, explains about the history of these towns. These towns were like gated communities. Nobody could come in, nobody could uh, speak very, uh, very good with the people, with the scientists uh, who worked there. Uh, so all exhibition explains about like a fence, like a big gated space where you're coming in and look through the gaps in uh, the small windows, in the small elements and in these small windows you see uh, photograph, uh, photo, photos of these towns and uh, it is what, uh, what is very interesting. You come in and you don't speak each other like we didn't speak each other in Soviet Union <laughs> so much uh, and we didn't get any information open. Uh, we had to get this information like uh, down, uh, downstairs of the table, downstairs of, the, of anything. As it was all closed, all gated and you look through the small gaps and you see the photos of the towns what you are not allowed normally to see and you see this life, what is really closed from your life, gated uh, from your life. And in these towns, uh, the Soviet scientists uh, uh, have created uh, wonderful things. And what we like to do with Skolkovo, to make something completely other, to make open town, to make green town, to make uh, the possibility to um, reflect to normal people are coming in this town, to make normal communication be between Russians and foreigners, between scientists and not scientists, and uh, the modern architecture is a good method uh, to create such a space, uh, but uh, we shouldn't forget uh, what was happened in Soviet Union with the same function, but on absolutely different way of architecture.